What's the matter? Kelly, you know the masseuse with the big mouth? Yeah. Well, I was in there, and she was talking about her friend Mandy again. You know, the one who was having an affair with a married man? Bren, you said yourself the girl is an airhead. Dylan's not going to get in the way of our friendship again, no matter. Kelly, let me finish. Sorry. This time, she said who the married man was. Well, who is it? It's Mel. What? Dr. Mel Silver, oral surgeon from Beverly Hills. Look, I don't know if it's true, but that's what she said. <sighs> this can't be happening. This has got to be a mistake. Hello? Hi, David. It's me. Hey, I was just talking about you with Dylan down at the Peach Pit. How's it going? Not so good. Is your dad there? Uh, no, I haven't seen him. Why? What's up? Well, hopefully nothing. Did you talk to him this morning? Well, no. He left for work before I got up. Well, did you see him last night? Kelly, what's wrong? Listen, just answer the question. I will tell you in a minute, okay? Well, uh, yeah, I saw him. He was in a good mood. We played with Aaron, and then, uh, he left for his poker game. So you don't know if he came home last night? I'm sure he did. But you don't know for sure? Well, no, I didn't do a bed check, if that's what you mean. Listen, do me a favor. Ask Rosa if she's seen him yet today. That was like pulling teeth. Well, his dad is a dentist. What'd she say? He didn't come home last night. Or the night before. Oh, what a beautiful night. You know, I am glad that you pulled me out of there. This is supposed to be a mother-daughter weekend, and I feel like we haven't spent any time together. I miss you. You were drinking. Is that why we're out here? No. Because I'm fine. I had a little sip of white wine, and that's my limit. And you don't have to worry about your old mind. Does Babette still do coke? She says she still dabbles every now and then on special occasions. Do you dabble? Kelly. Mom, just tell me the truth, please. No, you know I don't. Now, what is this about? I have something to tell you. And if you were ever going to start again, this would be the thing that might push you over the edge. Honey, what's wrong? Well, let's go sit down. 